January 16th, 2024, a date that will be remembered in space history. After four years of delays and countless setbacks, Blue Origin's massive New Glenn rocket finally thundered skyward from Cape Canaveral, igniting not just its engines, but the passion of the entire space community. But this story takes an unexpected turn along the Florida coastline. A piece of history washed up on shore, a fragment of New Glenn's payload fairing. Not just any fragment, but one carrying the signatures of the very engineers who built this colossal machine. For space enthusiasts, it's a priceless artifact. For Blue Origin, it's a sobering reminder of their partial success. While the second stage successfully delivered Blue Ring Pathfinder into its planned orbit, the first stage, designed to land gracefully on a ship in the Atlantic, failed its recovery attempt. Now, as Blue Origin targets late spring for its second launch, a critical question emerges. Can Jeff Bezos' space company overcome this setback and meet their ambitious timeline? Or will New Glenn's troubled history of delays continue to haunt its future? The clock is ticking as investigators comb through data. The FAA reviews findings and engineers race to correct course. The stakes couldn't be higher, not just for Blue Origin, but for NASA's planned Mars mission that depends on this very rocket. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 hours. Our next goal is 100,000 subscribers, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Let's dive right in. The morning sun glinted off something unusual in the sand. Mike Reynolds, a local space enthusiast who walks Florida's coastline every morning, couldn't believe what he'd found. There, half buried in the wet sand, lay a fragment of New Glenn's payload fairing. Not just any piece, but one bearing the signatures of the very engineers who spent years bringing this massive rocket to life. It felt like finding a piece of history, Mike told us, carefully cradling the composite material in his hands. These aren't just signatures. They're the marks of people who poured their hearts into making this rocket fly. For Blue Origin, however, these scattered fragments tell a more complicated story. They represent both triumph and disappointment a rocket that successfully reached orbit but failed to stick its landing. Each piece of debris that washes ashore serves as a physical reminder of the challenges ahead as the company races toward its next launch. Behind closed doors at Blue Origin's facilities, engineers have been working around the clock, analyzing what went wrong with the booster landing. The mood swings between celebration of their orbital success and frustration over the landing failure. New Glenn's maiden voyage on January 16th carried Blue Ring Pathfinder into its intended orbit with remarkable precision, less than 1% deviation from the target parameters. The spacecraft settled into its perfect perch with an apogee of 19,300 kilometers and perigee of 2,400 kilometers, precisely where it needed to be to test technologies for future lunar missions. Dave Limp, speaking with measured confidence during a recent press briefing, carefully avoided specifics about the landing failure. His body language betrayed more concern than his words as he assured reporters, I don't think it's going to delay our path to flight. I think we can still fly late spring. The slight tension in his voice revealed the pressure the company faces from investors, competitors, and their own ambitious timeline. The company's engineering team has developed a love-hate relationship with their massive creation, they affectionately call the rocket Big G, a nod to its enormous size compared to New Shepard, but the nickname also carries undertones of frustration. One anonymous engineer confided, we've spent nearly a decade of our lives on this project. Seeing it reach orbit was incredible, but watching the booster fail to land? That hurt. It was like watching your child stumble at the finish line. The clock ticks relentlessly toward that spring deadline as Blue Origin navigates the labyrinthine process of FAA approval. The regulatory dance feels painfully slow to a company accustomed to the breakneck pace of aerospace innovation. Each meeting brings new questions, each report requires additional documentation, and the bureaucratic wheels turn with agonizing deliberation. Meanwhile, at Cape Canaveral, construction crews work through the night preparing launch facilities for the second mission. Massive floodlights illuminate the launch pad as workers race against time. Their dedication is palpable. Many have relocated families to Florida for this project, believing they're building not just a rocket, 
but the foundation for humanity's future in space. The weight of history hangs heavy over the New Glenn program. Blue Origin unveiled the rocket with great fanfare back in 2016, promising revolutionary capabilities in a 2020 launch date. As 2020 came and went with no rocket in sight, industry insiders began whispering about Bezos time, a seemingly elastic concept where deadlines extend indefinitely into the future. Each passing year brought renewed promises and fresh disappointments. It's been a humbling journey, admitted one senior manager who requested anonymity. We underestimated the challenges. When Jeff talks about gratitude ferocity, step-by-step -step ferociously, we embraced the ferocity but sometimes forgot the step-by-step -step part. The emotional toll of these delays rippled through the company, affecting morale and testing the resolve of even the most dedicated team members. Engineers who joined fresh out of college have seen their 20s consumed by a rocket that, until January, existed only in blueprints and partially assembled components. Some couldn't weather the uncertainty and departed for rivals like SpaceX, where Starship was making visible, if explosive, progress. Those who stayed did so out of deep belief in Blue Origin's long-term vision. They speak of New Glenn not just as a launch vehicle, but as essential infrastructure for humanity's expansion into space. In their eyes, every delay, every setback, every failure, is simply part of building something that will operate for decades. The production floor tells its own story of determination. A second new Glenn booster takes shape, surrounded by engineers implementing modifications based on what they learned from the first flight. The atmosphere combines exhaustion and excitement. No one wants another delay, yet no one wants to rush and risk another failure. The pressure intensifies as NASA watches closely. The space agency made a calculated gamble selecting New Glenn for its $80 million escapade mission to Mars. Originally planned as the payload for New Glenn's first flight, NASA ultimately decided the risk was too great. In a costly decision that spoke volumes about their confidence level, they defueled the spacecraft rather than risk having to repeat the process if New Glenn wasn't ready. Two spacecraft nicknamed Blue and Gold in a fitting coincidence given their intended carrier, now sit in climate-controlled storage, waiting for their ride to the Red Planet. For the scientists who've devoted years to the escapade mission, the uncertainty is excruciating. Every day of delay potentially impacts the quality of scientific data they'll receive about Mars' interaction with solar radiation. Crucial information for planning future human missions. The waiting is the hardest part, said Dr. Elena Martinez, principal investigator for Escapade. The emotion in her voice was unmistakable during a recent interview. These spacecraft are like our children. We've nurtured them from concept through development. Seeing them sitting in storage instead of heading to Mars is difficult, but we understand the complexities involved. Back at Blue Origin headquarters, the payload question for the second flight remains unresolved. Commercial customers watch New Glenn's progress with mixed emotions excited by its potential capabilities, but wary of its reliability. For companies that have already paid deposits, the waiting game becomes increasingly uncomfortable as their own business plans hang in limbo. Dave Lim's carefully worded statement about possibly flying a mass simulator reveals the delicate position. While maintaining public confidence, Blue Origin is quietly preparing contingency plans. Flying without a paying customer would be financially painful but potentially necessary to maintain momentum. The competition with SpaceX adds another emotional dimension. Though Jeff Bezos rarely acknowledges it publicly, the rivalry between the two billionaire-founded space companies shapes decision-making on both sides. Each SpaceX success turns the screws a little tighter on Blue Origin's team. When Falcon Heavy executed perfect triple landings of its boosters, Blue Origin engineers watched with professional admiration tinged with envy. New Glenn's technical capabilities remain impressive on paper. Its methane-fueled engines represent a forward-thinking approach to propulsion, cleaner burning than kerosene, with potential advantages for future reusability. The massive payload fairing offers unprecedented volume for satellite deployment. Its theoretical cost efficiency could reshape the launch market. But as industry veterans know all too well, theoretical capabilities matter little without demonstrated performance. A rocket that exists primarily in PowerPoint presentations can't launch satellites.
For NASA, the relationship with Blue Origin represents a careful balancing act. The agency needs Blue Origin to succeed, not just for Escapade, but for the broader goal of maintaining multiple launch providers. Their strategic decision to assign lower risk, lower cost missions to New Glenn while reserving critical flagship missions for proven rockets demonstrates both caution and hope. As spring approaches, tension builds throughout the space community. Blue Origin employees check their phones constantly for updates on the investigation. Families of team members prepare for another potential round of overtime and weekend work. Space enthusiasts monitor forums and social media for the slightest hint of news. And somewhere along Florida's coastline, more fragments of New Glenn's first flight wait to be discovered. Silent witnesses to both how far Blue Origin has come and how far it still needs to go. The question hanging over everything remains. Will New Glenn's second flight stay on schedule or will history repeat itself with another delay? For thousands of people whose professional and personal lives are intertwined with this massive rocket, the answer carries profound emotional weight. They've experienced the heartbreak of previous delays and the elation of finally reaching orbit. Now they wait, hope, and work toward that next launch. Aware that in the space industry, nothing is guaranteed until the countdown reaches zero. As New Glenn's story continues to unfold, one thing becomes crystal clear. The road to space is never straight. Blue Origin's journey represents the reality of modern space exploration, breathtaking triumphs alongside humbling setbacks. While debris washes ashore as reminders of partial success, engineers work tirelessly behind the scenes, determined to overcome the challenges that stand between them and their spring launch window. The real question isn't whether Blue Origin can match SpaceX's pace or NASA's expectations. The question is whether their methodical approach, sometimes frustratingly slow, but prioritizing safety and precision, will ultimately prove more sustainable for humanity's long-term future in space. What do you think? Will Blue Origin make their spring launch date? Drop your prediction in the comments below, yes or no, and tell us why. Your insights help make this community what it is. If you found value in today's analysis, smash that like button and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. We're on a mission to reach 100,000 subscribers and every subscription brings us one step closer. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on all developments in the new space race. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you the stories that shape humanity's future among the stars. Until next time, keep looking up.